Hi everyone, welcome to my virtual fashion lab and today we're gonna talk about draw cords. So I'm gonna show you the draw cord that is in the library of Claw. It's the one that you can just simply choose. Now you can see that it's a very thin pattern piece that has um, additional thickness rendering increase a lot more. And I'm gonna show you the alternative way how to you can make the draw cord. Um, I like that uh, way more because it's much more better if you start applying different textures or print layouts, um, the result come out much more better. So let's create the pattern piece that's a little wider and um, we'll need to sew it and just make it like a circular pattern. When I'm working on the draw cord, especially in a separate file, I'm always adding the pins so then they're suspended in the air and I have better control. Sometimes I add it to both ends so then it doesn't go all the way crazy when I simulate or sometimes only to the top so then it's just hanging off properly and nice. Okay, I have my second draw cord. Now let's create the texture. Um, just went online and found the very traditional looking uh, draw cord image. I just want to make sure that I'm going to make it as a seamless texture. And later on, I will be recoloring it in within Claw. To create the seamless texture, I like to use the offset tool so then I can see where the connection is um, happening of the um, repeats and then make sure that that area is blended perfectly and you don't see the transition. You can also try to use the um, AI that is within the Photoshop to expand the texture. Sometimes it works really nice and you don't really actually need to worry about the seamless texture. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what I have and now let's export it as PNG to use as a texture map in the claw file. Because the texture is so small and I'm not going to be uh, rendering it at extremely high um, resolution and I'm not going to be doing zoom in so I don't have any um, normal map to that but you can always create it within Photoshop. Um, Sometimes what I do, I have very old version of Photoshop just to create the normal map because um, the newer version of Photoshop unfortunately doesn't support that feature anymore. So in the texture edit tool, you can actually um, change any of your print or textures um, colors and you can swap them to any options you like. This is an amazing feature. It's not super uh, great quality when it comes to extremely fine and organic color variations, but um, it is a really great tool for quick visualization and concept creation. So let's add now the draw cord ends and I'll show you how you can um, take something from the library and manipulate it to something more that you would like.
Don't forget to click on the glue bottle icon to make sure that you're attaching your trim to the pattern piece that it belongs to. So then when you do simulate, it has less issues. Okay, and now let's see the real life scenario. For example, you prepared your draw cord and now you want to add it to your um, garment that you have. So the best is to save as your draw cord as Z-Pack. Um, it's like a garment piece, so it doesn't hold any other additional information that you don't want to carry um, and it will reduce the size of the file. Um, so you just add it to your file and as you see, I'm just sewing it as a regular pattern piece. Again, having an alternative way of construction rather than it is in the claw library allows you better um, control of how you actually sewing and adding it to the garment to create more realism to the way how all the entrance and exit look like. So it takes a while sometimes to make sure that um, your draw cord folds nicely, that it goes around. Sometimes I would change the particle distance to 10, so just to make sure that uh, it doesn't take forever for me to mold it how I want and when the position is more correct I change it back to very low particle distance. Um, a really good trick is to change your um, texture to thin so then you see where the front and back kind of like inside and outside fabric are uh, simulated incorrectly as you see here it was all twisted and turned. Um, so I turned on the thin texture layer and with a um, with a box tool, I can select the particular mesh that is simulated incorrectly and move it around um, with the gizmos. Then I'm using my uh, pin tool just to connect it in the place where I will want my um, draw cord stopper to be and it will help again for more stability. Now let's add the draw cord stopper. Um, this one I simply download, downloaded from the closet marketplace. Um, you can find a lot on internet that are free or not free or you can create your own and it's just a lot of moving around kind of like being um, CGI uh, VFX artist uh, making sure that your 3d object actually connects well with each other. Unfortunately, there is no such a tool or a feature yet where you can tell the draw cord to go through the holes or uh, be more stable and move along together. So that is um, take sometimes longer time and sometimes it just happens organically very quickly.
I hope you like this video. Please sign up to my YouTube channel or go to my website for more tutorials, free um, assets and project files, and as well as a lot of resources where you can get free fabrics, free trims, what other software they are, um, and everything being updated very often. So there is always something new. Bye!